Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA news video. Now, this is literally the craziest thing to ever happen in GTA Online and my personal opinion. So I had no choice but to make a video on it. Well, that and the fact my train was super late home tonight so I didn't really have um, time to make a proper video. Anyway, so this morning I woke up, checked my emails, which I'd never do, but I did. And I actually saw one from Rockstar Support about a ticket that I opened. Absolutely baffled, I follow the link and sure enough, apparently at midnight of the 28th of October 2016, I raised a complaint about my account being banned. I followed the link in the email and sure enough, there was a ticket. Now, I didn't actually raise this ticket, in fact, I even replied to it uh, later on saying, I never submitted this complaint and they replied back to me, but we'll get back to that later. The original ticket literally read, this is a complaint regarding a ban from me. I didn't type that, <laughs> like I say. And I sort of feel like this is Rockstar's way of holding their middle finger up to me and just telling me that I've been banned. I then proceeded to load up GTA. Now this is at like six o'clock in the morning so my head's not even in a normal place to be loading up games and stuff. I'm just about to get ready for work and I don't know why I even decided to do this but went to load up online and sure enough I got the message you have been banned from GTA online until 11th of the 2nd 2016 return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Now um, if you're American that is the second of next month and like the format for me should have said the second of the 11th 2016 because i'm british and we do it the wrong way apparently but yeah i got that message and i was just like what the hell like what I'd, i haven't even done anything that um i would describe as suspicious or anything like that again i'll get into my account a little bit later on to this video but safe to say i wasn't too mad about how long i'm banned for because it's only a couple of days but I was just like, this is crazy, why would I get banned? Like me, there's loads of people on GTA that, that, that do what I've done. Um, and that's test the legitimacy of the game, I guess. But basically, after a little bit of research, I discovered that Rockstar has banned every single account that may have illegitimately gained some cash, whether that be glitching missions, money drops, or even buying hacked accounts. Yeah, apparently that's not a scammer, people actually do that. This isn't fact, but I've also heard that Rockstar have banned around two and a half thousand users and it honestly wouldn't surprise me if that was true or it was too little. And I'm not sure if Rockstar's made any mistakes or there was any accounts that maybe weren't supposed to be banned or whatever. And I don't know if anyone even survived what I'm calling the raid because Rockstar has gone hard, basically. Every single person I've seen on Twitter that's got a modded account was just like, they were going crazy. They was like, oh my God, I've been banned, blah, 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 sharing many many links to articles that was just like rockstar have gone crazy and like i say while i'm not sure if they made mistakes or whatever all i know is i was one of the unlucky ones that had gained cash illegitimately and now i'm serving the punishment personally i do deserve the thing is my opinion is gta online is very very good like it's one of my favorite pastimes however the game is massively pay to win it doesn't matter that the dlc is free because most of the time it's overpriced in game the price of some of the content would just take too much in-game time to get hold of for my liking. And yeah, I do understand there's some people that work for it, but to me, it's literally just a game. I don't troll people or anything like that with the money that I got. I literally just go on there to have fun and really enjoy making YouTube videos slash live streams. And unless I pay cash for shark cards, I can't do that. And these videos don't pay me anything and I wouldn't expect it. But if the shark cards weren't even overpriced, I'd buy them too. All I'm saying is Rockstar, your economy sucks. This is absolutely no justification to what I've done or what other people have done because it's, it's, well, it's cheating. That's what I did and that's what loads of people have done. But yeah, pay the punishment. I got away with it for like two years maybe. It was so long and they haven't even banned my full account. Like I won't know until the second, but I'm pretty sure they haven't banned my full account. They'll just take away all my money and I guess I will still have all the things I've bought slashed unlocked. That's all like the businesses and stuff, so I can still make money from that and still have a bit of fun. In fact, maybe it will actually make the game funner for me. I don't know. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but yeah, bottom line is Rockstar Games went crazy. They even released two articles on the website. One titled GTA Online October 2016 illegitimately gained in-game money removal. And there's a question and answer basis. Again, I don't want to be one of these YouTubers that reads out question and answers, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Question, why did I receive an alert when logging into GTA Online saying that illegitimately gained in-game money was removed from my shared bank? Answer, to keep gameplay environment fair. I'm not going to read the most of it, but that does make sense. And to me, the way they should make it even fairer is just to make shark cards a little bit cheaper or to make the in-game economy even better. Like paying a million pound for a Prius, and I know that's not actually how much they are, just isn't right. It doesn't feel right. 
and yeah, people were also worried about um, if they'd actually bought shark cards, would that be taken as well? And apparently not. If you purchased any shark cards, that would still be left in your um, cash account. However, I'm not really sure how that works, how they tell the difference between the two. The second thing is they sort of updated the online suspension and ban policy. Now, I actually remember not long ago, a lot of modders got like solidly banned. I've got like <laughs> a week, whoop de doo it's full on ban and I'm so glad I didn't get like completely suspended and well I still hope I didn't I won't know until the second I guess until I log on on that day but they even released an article saying update to the GTA online suspension and ban policy which means they've updated the whole policy I guess to suit this one call I guess this is kind of Rockstar's last chance and I know that I most likely won't do it again unless it's like really really easy or something but the thing is anyway is how my account got modded was actually I wouldn't say it's my fault. I mean, I sort of fell into it. It was just there, it happened. I didn't necessarily take time out of my day to make it happen. I didn't go on for this one reason. I was in a lobby, someone said this, I said yes, that's it. Um, and even before that, they just randomly gave me a bunch of cash anyway. So I was like, meh, why not? But anyway, I really feel like this is Rockstar's giving users a second chance and not cheating and just trying to make the game fun again, I guess. Because the people that don't cheat must really have a sucky time. Because like I say, I don't play the game every single day, if not once a week maybe, um, and if I didn't have the money that I had, I probably wouldn't have as much fun, but I'll never know until I try I guess. Anyway, they updated the GTA Online Suspension and Ban Policy, and the question was what happens if I'm suspended and banned from GTA Online? Answer, GTA Online suspensions are triggered by a number of factors, including modding GTA Online, exploiting or abusing game mechanics, manipulating protected game data and code, in or interfering with other players' gameplay experience. Suspensions from GTA Online can be temporary or permanent, depending on the severity of the infraction. And then basically it goes on to say, if you receive a temporary and then do it again, you will get permanently banned. And this is the bit that got me, <laughs> the bit that scared me the most. In addition, your GTA Online characters will be reset, all online progress, property and inventory will be reset, all GTA Online suspension and banning decisions are final and may not be appealed. That pretty much means I'm going to be completely reset back to level zero. But, like I say, did the crime do the time? Anyway, I'm going to end this here because I could honestly ramble all day about this. Um, I'm getting a new mic soon, which is definitely more ramble friendly than the one I currently use. So do subscribe for more of whatever type of video this is. Out of this, I'm just really hoping that A, people either, everyone stops modding and which will never happen, but or they make it impossible and that maybe Rockstar learns a thing or two about greed, about how they shouldn't want to just sponge money off people that just genuinely want to play their game. Anyway, let me know what you think of Hackers and Modders, and please don't hate me for being a now ex-exploiter type thing. Also, if you made it this far, leave a like because it kind of helps, and spread this video like wildfire. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit thumbs up. If you like my videos, go and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit.